Let's make a black soybean salsa to celebrate Soy Foods Month. Starting out, we're going to get half of a green bell pepper, half of a red bell pepper, and half of a yellow bell pepper. And then, of course, we're going to go ahead and chop those up into small pieces to get them ready for the salsa. After that, we're going to chop up four green onions and about a cup of chopped tomatoes. Get that big bowl, add three cups of cooked black soybeans, and if you're not sure how to do that, don't worry, we'll get to that. Add up all the chopped ingredients along with one cup of canned white corn that's been drained, two 10 ounce cans of diced tomatoes with green chilies, and all of those other ingredients, and we'll go ahead and combine it to make an amazing salsa. Now, if you're not so sure about using soybeans in your cooking, don't worry, it's super easy. Go ahead and add them to your Instapot, go ahead and add some water, and just let them pressure cook for a good hour and they're done. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add some flavor. So a quarter of a cup of red wine vinegar, three tablespoons of lemon juice, one teaspoon of chili powder, two tablespoons of garlic, a quarter teaspoon of cumin, and just a little bit of cayenne pepper to add some spice. We're gonna go ahead and add all of those ingredients into a small bowl, measure them out to the best of our ability, and give it a little mix. Black soybeans are a really fun, unique way to get soy into your diet. They're high in protein. They're similar to that of an actual black bean, and honestly, you can't taste the difference. It's a really great way to get just an awesome dose of protein outside of all the other great components of this dish. It's super easy, really delicious, an awesome snack to make, and we are know that we're gonna be eating this all of Soy Foods Month here at the Illinois Soybean Office.